Let's start the offensive. Geralt, good you're here. Ready to attack Duntine? <laughs> Never. Been more ready. We got a plan. See you already prepared a plan. Walk me through it. We have two objectives. To find her illustrious highness's sister and capture the man who blackmailed the vampire. Duntine is a modest complex. Several old buildings, a high wall around them. At the center of the enclosure stands an imposing keep, restored not long past by the elderly knight of the castle, Roderick. We mean to strike here, through the main gate, then secure the area in front of the keep by storm. How many men defend Duntine, you know? Roderick maintains a team of knights for defense. They are no army, but they could number several dozen. Also, Roderick recently took in a band of foreign mercenaries. About them we know very little. Need to hit them from both sides. You draw the defenders, keep them busy. I'll sneak in the back way, find the women, make sure they come to no harm. I'll vault over the wall as soon as you start your assault. Your plan puts you at great risk, but I sense you will handle it well. Let us go. A few dozen soldiers. It does not sound like a truly massive problem for a Mitchell. Sure, we'll be able to deal with this. And what's waiting for us there? So it begins. Quick! We grab Roderick's horses and we bolt. We won't vault far if the boys out front don't hold. Not so fast. Little change of plans. Okay. Let's fight a few of them. Ooh, I cut this guy in half. I've cut that guy in half. I'm like taking the limbs quite well. This guy had no idea what was going on. Wow, I'm able to hit them quite hard, really. I'm even surprised I can't do that. Ooh, another head. Another headshot, eh? Done. Oh, that was awesome. I Mark loved it. Him to get the horses. He's looking to flee. Can't let him. I'm going after him then. I oh. see no ducals along the road. Mm. They must be oh, the road. What was that? That's me, you fool. And I'm Hurry with those crates. To escape. But be careful. If you drop any, someone's here. They've breached the back wall. Yeah. Come on. Really good at what I do. Kill him. Oh no. I need another. Hit there. Two more guys, that's it. Done. Okay. I'm gonna give him some good blows there. Not good. Dodge out. Strong attack. Left shift. I'm gonna attack him with strong attacks now. I normally use just regular strikes. And he can dodge strong attacks with these, as you can see. Mercy! Mercy! I... I did no wrong! Nah, kept the wrong damn company. Sintrian's men, where are they? Uh, I... knew... shouldn't... 
have let them under my roof. Looking for a hostage, a woman. Where's the hostage, the woman? Wh what? What do you mean? I know nothing about a hostage. Must, must be the handiwork of my guests. Where are those men? Where are they now? In, in the keep, ready in their escape. There's someone with them, a woman named Siana. Of, of course, she, she convinced me to let them in. And a whole pile of trouble along with them. Where is she? Pack, packing. We were to leave together, an old fool. I'd have done anything for her. Where is she? In the keep too? Y yes. Her chamber is in the tower, the top floor. What? What will become of me? Not my problem. Leaving you to the ducal guard, if you don't bleed to death in the meantime. Chewy, a pox upon you! Well, pox. I thought you'll be a lot more mean than that. No, no, no. Can I pass through this? It looks like I was able to do that. This one! Kill the sheet like that! And so, I'm going to tag them here. Look at this guy! Ooh, the Iron Borg, that's one huge. One huge fool. Wow. Bam! Bam! You know what? I'm gonna freeze them. I will tear you to shreds! Okay, let's see how well you do against the strike. Done, you're dead. Didn't survive for long, eh? In any case, I will try to kill as many of these as I can. It looks like these dogs have burned. And so... I'm gonna freeze them and burn them even further. That's done. It looks like the reinforcements have been cut off. And uh, I'll take out the skirmishers now. Without their crossbow support, I'm sure they won't be as good of fighters now. Giving you one last chance. Yield. And Harlot got us into this. Kill him! Attack! Ugh. What's that? It looks like it's a vampire. So it seems that somebody is going to feed on them. You have to yield. But that was probably not the answer anyway. And I thought you stopped being a vampire. However, I suspected that you uh, they get into the keep. They shall pay! For everything! You'll stop drinking blood and just being a ruthless vampire. In any case, follow me. Let's go after them. Right there. Oh, they are good. Look at that. It looks like they can do this on their own. Wow. You know what this tells me? I should avoid vampires in my arm. My glorious army. Imagine a nation that only consists of. The only human that would be there to him would be a slave or a mage. All the other ones free here. would be we monsters use our help. So, which likes of a vampire. 
Where is Renner? Expect to answer a lot of questions. Led inside. by a Witcher. Let us go then. shame and I thought vampires wouldn't get tired Renner. are you are you hurt if any of them you know me I'd never let them hurt me I just waited for you to come I I didn't know where to look she has the juice ass. To kill you, I... That's why Give I trust me. her. I failed you. Now we need only find Anna Henrietta's sister. Where should we look? Do you know? Mm-hmm. Ran into Roderick, Duntine's lord. Told me where I'd find Sienna. Then speak and let's grab her. Time is short. Said she was in a room in the tower. Very one we're in right now. Which, incidentally, looks nothing like a prison cell. And just so happens there's a carafe full of wine here. Bet it's stolen Saint Real. What's your point? You lied to that file. Use him. Stop playing dumb. I know everything. Your plan, that this was part of it. Witcher, what is this? Sorry, Dedlaf. You've been had. My friend, please. You must listen to what Geralt has to say. Kidnapping was a farce. Sienna and Rena, they're one and the same person. Rena's not her real name. This is Siana, and Siana is sister to Anna Henrietta, the Duchess of Toussaint. What? What nonsense is this? Siana was banished as a child, but it seems she trekked back here recently, moved into Duntine, and ran a Vandergild out of here. Sent a man called the Centrian to Beauclair to steal some wine for her. Wine reserved for the Ducal family. Centrian led us to her. Caught him later stealing a jewel Sian had gotten from her father as a child. <clears throat> Sorry, Dedloff. She used you. Part of her plan. That's what you got. A lying woman. If you do not, I will raise Beauclair to the ground. This I promise you. You three days. I shall be waiting. He just fly off? He did not wish to act rashly. He's gone to soothe his nerves. Think he'll do it? Make good on his threat? I cannot say. He can be unpredictable when fury consumes him. I shall go to him. Come again? After what he just... You don't know Detlaf like I do. If I don't do as he says, he truly will destroy the city. He's more than capable of it. Conscience gets to you now. Didn't expect this. I think that she thinks that she's beautiful enough to kind of got him on the good side and that's why I think that um, I didn't expect this 
Seems you've got some last scraps of honor left. It's the least I can do. Well, it truly does seem the best option. Your Grace, we must proceed with caution. Guardsmen saw vampires here. They could still be about. Vampires or no vampires, my sister is here. Find her. Your Grace, that... Diana, it's true. It's you. Sister, dear, what have you gotten yourself <clears throat> into? So concerned, I'm surprised. Is there an ounce of truth to it? You... You feel resentment. I understand. But I promise, promise we shall work through all the unfortunate matters of the past. We will discuss them later. Captain, escort Siana to the palace. I shall meet with her as soon as we return. As you wish, Your Grace. <clears throat> and you, Witcher. You have my thanks. I cannot believe my sister was so near the whole time. Roderick of Duntine shall answer for treason and blackmail. Roderick had <clears throat> no knowledge of the blackmail. Author answer for being a dunce. Okay, I'll just agree with her. Roderick got duped and used, just like the vampire. Apropos, were you able to establish who kidnapped his beloved? We've discovered Siana blackmailed the vampire. Ordered him to kill those men. What? What nonsense is this? She huh. is his missing lover. Staged her own abduction to force him to do her bidding. He was a tool. Whole scheme was Siana's. She was behind it. You're mistaken. You must be. This cannot be true. Your Grace, I know this vampire and... What? You know him? Who is he? Detlaf. The same who so recently sat at my table and told me of Nazar. Is there anything else you've neglected to mention? A dragon living beneath Mount Gorgon, perhaps? Is anyone else here a vampire? Where is he now? Waiting for Siana. If she doesn't show up to meet him by an appointed time, he'll destroy Beauclair. He dares threaten us? Your Grace, we have three days to bring him Siana and... Not a word. You have three days to bring me his head. No more secrets. No more helping vampires. I want what I'm paying for. The head of the beast. Okay. It looks like we'll have to go against the vampire now. Because that is exactly what the Duchess wants. Do you think her grace's nerves have been calmed? It rarely forgets, rarely retracts what she says, especially when it's... Yes, well, even I must admit, Dead Love's actions were highly inappropriate. Reprehensible, even. Are you upset? Why would I be? Hmm, let's see. You're returning from your hunt empty-handed. No trophy. No new lead to boast of, then pursue. I don't get upset mutations, remember? Upset's just not a sensation I feel. Ever. Mutations, remember? Hmm, yes, of course. The excuse you resort to whenever you'd rather not talk about something. Observant of you. So let's change the subject. How do your employers customarily react when you fail to meet their expectations? Uh, depends. Peasants cuss me out. Merchants demand I refund their deposit. Whereas nobles mostly just release their hounds. And rulers? Usually threaten me with the gallows. Her most illustrious grace awaits the gentleman. And let's move on. Grace, 
The population demands she be punished. Sianas committed terrible crimes, spilled so much blood. They. Another word, Palmerin, and I shall spill even more blood. Yours. I repeat for the last time, Siana is responsible for the death of many, true, but she is also my sister. We are bound by blood and by a shared childhood. I shall not allow her to be lynched. Your Grace, I fear the masses might rise. Storm the prison, pitchforks and torches in hand. Let them storm. They will not find her there. Siana is hidden away in a safe place. She shall await trial there until we have rid ourselves of this accursed vampire. Which, to judge by your means, has not yet come to pass. Did what we could, but... My patience is at an end, Geralt. Where is he? Where is Detlaf? I'm working on it. We're working to find that out, Your Grace. Do you take me for a fool? I wouldn't dare. I care not one whit what you have worked on, are working on, or shall work on. I'm interested in results, which thus far have been nil. Ah. At times I hunt foxes. Do you know how it works? The ducal huntsman releases the hounds, they catch the fox's scent, chase the animal down, and lead the bachu to it. All within an hour. You, Witcher, have had a week. The aid of my most excellent knights. Yet, you have tracked absolutely nothing down. I've begun to suspect my beagles might have done a better job. We'll find him sooner or later. Maybe you should summon your beagles then. Vampires and foxes. Game in general exhibit certain essential differences that would be a smart and um, aggressive answer to a smart and um, I would say aggressive statement allow me to point out certain subtle but essential differences between a higher vampire and a fox or game in general because she's your boss, so you shouldn't say things like that, making her look stupid, you know. Truly. Like the ones between a pathetic quip and a treasonous offense. Watch your words, Witcher. But to the matter at hand. Have you managed to establish anything? Your Grace, it seems Siana tricked Detlaf, used him to murder the knights who escorted her into exile. We have reason to believe that... Your Grace! Vampires! What? Speak now! Vampires! Oh, they protect the city! Captain de la Tour defends the square near the boat landing, but so many lives lost! Damn it. That's so many vampires. I'm amazed that they were not just one vampire, they were an army. If it's war this Detlef wants, it's war he shall have. Geralt, get to work. This time I'll hear no excuses. Palmer and you. <gasps> it looks like he wasn't waiting for long. Oh, Ruxa. Get her out of here. Let's start to play the game. It looks like this, Bruxa. And she left the game. I need the silver sword first. Done. Draw the silver sword down. <laughs> Alright, these Bruxa are the most ferocious fighters out there. These ones, or this type of a vampire, would make up a truly incredible infantry to have. I'm telling you, 
an army of these kind of things is exactly what I should be aiming for. That's awesome. The only problem is how exactly you're going to read these things. You need to fight humans. I guess that's the problem. They can't move. Or maybe they can, who knows? That's it, she's done. I like the fact that she was naked. Siana failed to appear as summoned. And there. Detloff was not making idle threats. Seems not. Need to make some serious plans of our own now. It's gone too far, damn it. Regis, you mentioned there was a way to draw Detloff out. A way you've avoided resorting to so far because you thought it was too dangerous. Is that how I put it? Do forgive me, that I've misled you terribly. The word dangerous is simply a scandalous understatement in this case. Regis, another inner monologue growing out of a personal dilemma. Just tell me how to flush Detloff out, force him to meet, please. In due course. But first, Geralt, I'd like you to consider the alternative. After all, you could fulfill Detloff's demand and liberate his beloved Siana. A very interesting proposal. Think that Love still believes Siana's innocent? Think that Love still believes Siana's innocent? I believe he suspects something. He must. And he seeks to understand what happened. And for that, he's declared war on the entire duchy? What can I say? Moderation was never his strong suit. Siana, what exactly are you suggesting we do about her? Really want to free Siana? Hand her over to Dedloff? Refuse to accept you consider that wise. It's hard to believe, I know. But Detlef is not actually evil, merely impulsive. He needs but meet with her, speak with her, and he will spare the city. Hmm. So say I agree to this, because I might. Still no chance Anna Henrietta will. I do not recall ever suggesting we ask her permission. Sienna can't be harmed, can you guarantee her safety? Any idea where Sienna's being held? Got serious reservations about this plan. Not least among them, we have no idea where Sienna's being held. You heard the Duchess, she's not at the prison. Hardly a reservation, more of an excuse. I'm certain you'll find her. You must merely decide you wish to. Hmm, could ask Damien. Duchess treats him like a lapdog, keeps him close most times. He might know something more. There, you see? I knew you'd think of something. Bravo. Sianas can't be harmed. Can you guarantee her safety? The meeting. What if it's nothing like you say? What if it goes sour, ends in a fight? Willing to guarantee Siana won't get hurt? It seems unlikely in the extreme that... Didn't ask for a lecture on probability. Need a simple answer. Yes or no. I vow that not a hair on her head shall come to any harm. I trust I've dispelled your doubts, then. Not so fast. We're not done talking. Say, I don't want to negotiate. How could they get Detlaf to reveal himself? <clears throat> How would I go about luring Detlaf out of hiding if I wanted to? With the blood of a virgin? You see, somewhere nearby lives an unusual denizen. One of the unseen, ancient and powerful vampires. Among the oldest and strongest. Mm-hmm, and? Tusa is this unseen elder's territory. All vampires owe him fealty while they are here. He need but say the word, designate a time and place, and Detlaf will be forced to appear. So this unseen elder, how do we convince him to summon Detlaf? We must find him first. The elder does not see arrivals unless he absolutely must. But locals, Oriana, for instance, you know, she too is a... Yeah, figured it out. All right, let's say she gets me in to see the Unseen Elder. What then? I don't know. You'll have to improvise, I suppose. What's next? Hmm. So I'm basically stuck. Either gotta give in to a blackmailer, or fight him. You know what I would opt for? Should we free Siana and arrange for her to meet with Detlaf? There's a good chance we'll all survive this ordeal. Detlaf included. Regis. 
Don't mean to put you on the spot, but I gotta know. Say I do decide to fight Dedloff. Who will you stand with? Should you decide your sword is the sole solution, I shall not stand in your way. Appreciate it. Certainly hope so. Now, please tell me, what is it you intend to do? Considering freeing Sienna, let's talk to Damien. Leaning towards no nonsense, Oriana, let's find her. Don't know, need to think about it. No idea, need to think. Not an easy choice, understood. Permit me to leave you to wrestle with this dilemma. I'm needed in the city. I cannot stop what is happening, but I can try to limit the number of victims. Once you've decided and learned something, perhaps, whisper a word to the ravens. I shall find you. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. Find Damien and ask him where Siana is being kept, or ask Oriana. Right Might to find and see. You know what? I think that it would be so much more amazing to at least see the unseen elder. And due to that, let's go after this objective right there. And so. <clears throat> Ah! We'll be heading in. But uh, what about the whole invasion? It looks to me that we won't be getting involved ah, oh. into this. They're just flying around the city anyway. <clears throat> Besides, it's strange to me that all those vampires simply did not attack. The queen itself. Oh, look at that. I can't really do that. I can't fast travel anywhere. Now, that's truly unfortunate. Okay. It looks to me that the idea here is that we must travel through the town that's currently being sieged. And so we will. And we'll have to fight through. I have no doubts about that. And I've just noticed that uh, we need to put some new closes on what about this right there I'm sure that would be very very suitable because we never wear it or at least we wear it a long time ago this is going to be just fine for now that's all fair shoes that show some luxury there and these are low armor and I need some woven gloves that are low armor in this case. Oh, I just noticed one thing. I don't have any torches. Oh, look at this baby like there. Oh, fairy saber. Could you believe that? We'll soon be having so much of fairy out here. It's hard to believe. The sword the boots and the armor which is just nothing really is all fair we're going in the city is being attacked we'll be fighting this beast The only way is to get away from it. Let's get away from it then. Everybody seems to be wounded quite a bit. Oh, look at that. The girl is there. Yeah, I'm glad we're, I'm glad we're going to find, fight all these drugs and fighters out here. These are tough. These are really, really tough to deal with. And so, I'm glad we're going to burn them alive. That's it. 
That's one of the abilities I have, and it's the most powerful ability. The citizens are still inside of the town. Okay. One of the swords that they currently hold is still going out of commission, and we have this right here. That's a very, very beautiful sword, too. Now it looks like Behold. Behold. Really, really good stuff. Ask Oriana. So Oriana is just behind us. Ooh. Let's go back. Is that an owl? What is that all about? Another box up. No, it's an owl. It's not, it's not exactly the same, is it? But look at that. I wonder, can I just burn it? It looks like I wasn't uh, able to freeze it before I killed it. Oh well. Okay. What do we have here? It looks like a bunch of those soldiers. Itself didn't kill him. Bled to death afterwards. What else is in here? Will we be heading into the pool? No. Ask Oriana where to find Unseen Elder. Very interesting. I found a bunch of footsteps here. They broke formation. Ran. Let's go. After this. Barricade put up in the street. I can already see another Bruxa there. Or the like. Okay, okay. Whoa. It can deal a lot of damage. Ooh, it's a Bruxa. Can it be freezed? I'm not sure, but what I'm sure about is that it can be burned to death. I'll make sure I kill all of these Bruxas because they're so powerful they would inflict horrific losses over anybody else. Done, another one is dead. What are our orders? Speak! I don't know. It's a resort. Climate soon it's smashed. Kosma is dead. What of Captain Damien? What is his hold up? Barricade did. But they'll not keep the march long. They're probably heading to the bank now. Remember, <laughs> they're probably going to barricade themselves too. Virtues. You knights have forsworn the virtues. The gods have seen fit to punish us all. Shut your mouth. You draw them here. And so it seems that these guys are going to simply pray. And I'm going to go into this mansion. In a hurry to get somewhere? Very much so. Now be kind enough to step aside. Chaos in the city. Know what's going on? Naturally. It's rather irritating. Irritating? Is that all we have to say? Bloodbath in the streets. That's irritating? I'd probably use a stronger term. Well, you know, I'm getting on in years. Not easily impressed. Takes a bit more to get me worked up. Yeah, I suppose empathy's not something I associate with vampires. I suspected you would guess. Wasn't hard. Not like you tried hard to hide it. Should I have? Well, I am a witcher. And thus my foe? That depends entirely on you. Need to talk to the Unseen Elder. It's urgent. Need to, uh, see your Unseen. Convince him to stop Deadlaf. Heard you could help me with that. My, my. It seems my dear Regis needs to be reprimanded. He's become rather indiscreet. And you. There are simpler ways to commit suicide. 
A number of bridges you could jump off, for instance. Just want to talk to him. <laughs> talk. Lovely. He'll rend your head from your neck. Make shreds of you before you can open your mouth. Let me worry about that. Willing to do it or not? Hmm. I, too, would prefer a city calmed. But to reveal so dear a secret to a witcher. Know what? Come with me. I must tend to a certain matter. Then we'll talk. I'm short. Folk are dying. Oriana, I don't have time for that. Folk are dying and... And I'm about to mount my horse, so either ride with me or finish this moving monologue alone. Damn it. <sighs> I'm sure she knows better. Where are we going? Not far. You see, I maintain a kind of shelter just outside Beauclair. O an orphanage, to be precise. I've heard the birds whisper. They claim a terrible thing's happened there. Under the present circumstances, I must treat this seriously. I'm sure you understand. Mm hmm Perfectly. Let's go. <clears throat> and so we will. Must cost a small fortune maintaining this place. What can I do? I have a weakness for children. Meaning? Meaning that I... Wait. Smell that. Blood. Here's the boy. Please. Shh. 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 What happened? Where's Arno? Speak. Shh. Oh, the, the, the mon monster will go come. What monster? Relax, you're safe now. <clears throat> Easy, little man. You're safe now. I was so scared. S so s scared. Of what? You can tell us. Take your time. I... I... W woke up because of the bells, then the screams. I pulled the quilt over my head so I wouldn't hear, but they were so loud. And something began pounding on the roof. Boom, boom, louder and louder. Then Uncle Arno came and said, sit quiet, real quiet, shh, shh, and you'll be all right. The whole son abandoned them, left them, and ran away. What happened then? Who's this Arno? The Guardian. He ran the orphanage with his wife, for a generous fee. I don't see them, can't hear or smell them either. They fled, left the children behind as bait. Uncle Arno told us to be quiet as mice, and the monster wouldn't come. But it did. Okay. What happened then? What happened then? Bartes, Neve, Mora, and some others. They ran out. My sister Anna and me. We hid right here in the room. But Anna, she began to cry. I covered her mouth, whispered, shh, shh, shh. Held her long. Till she stopped. You mean to say you... Drop it. Think I know enough. As do I. Something killed my children. I'll stay with the boy. He shouldn't be left alone again. You? You track down this scum. Bring me its head and I'll help you with the unseen. Boy's wounded. 
Boy's hurt. Wounds need dressing. Not to worry. I'll see to it. You sure? Got a lot of practice. Just need a few minutes to... Go. Fine. See if I can't find the lead. Fine. See if I can't find a lead. Excellent. Go on. Get to work. Come, little one. I'll sing to you. Wolves are sleeping midst the trees. Bats all are swaying in the breeze. But when soul lies anxious, wide awake, fearing all manner of ghouls, hags, and wraiths. Search the orphanage using a witch's senses. <laughs> 